I'm all for Christmas. Welcome back, new vlog. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better, definitely. Thank you so much for all your lovely messages in the last vlog. I really appreciate all your comments. And one of you actually did say, thank you, that it could be an infection. So I actually do have an appointment with the dentist tomorrow to double check everything maybe do some x-rays and stuff just in case she could only see me like the earliest is tomorrow so i still have the pain not gonna lie <laughs> not gonna complain though i'm like tricking myself into thinking that it's not a problem anymore um because i feel like sometimes in your mind if you dwell on it it gets worse so i know i'm going there tomorrow i'll check it out i'll keep you posted but i want to get back to vlogging today i need to finish the decorating today we're having our party this weekend our annual christmas party so it's all systems go to get the place ready i've ordered two garlands for here they're coming later today and then i actually did a little christmas shopping over the weekend and i got some new bits and i took these out of the bag last night to get them ready to put them on and i smashed one so we're down to three of them but they're so pretty i'll turn around and show you and then i'll show you how our tree is looking okay this is how the tree is looking so far i'm really happy with it i added a few more little baubles throughout the week i just ordered like a set and they're actually quite nice i thought they were going to be a little bit bigger but i think it's nice to add in a few smaller ones with the bigger ones and then i love this one i've had this for a couple of years and oh damn um i've had these rose ones for a couple of years as well and then i think these ones will be really nice oh i'm so mad i dropped it Damn it. Um, they're Rachel so I found them in Home Goods or Home Sense over the weekend. Beautifully embellished. I really want to every year like kind of buy new ones or look out for kind of creative ones. I think the ones I have right now are pretty basic, not gonna lie. So I want to really make an effort next year. I found this brand called Dagmar, I think. And oh my god, they have the most stunning ornaments. They're a little bit pricey, but I think I might invest in some of them next year. But this year I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. And then I just added all our usual presents. I kind of just wrapped all these myself last year. I have a few that I bought and these two I bought. Oh, that bow was a bit crooked. Um, but I just wrapped these ones and put some ribbon on myself. It's really easy to do. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the kilt's probably going to criticize it when she comes over. I don't think she's been over since I added a few new ones. So she might fix it up a bit better. I'm going to add these on now. So sad about that one. Ah. a hundred percent going to move these around but i'm just going to put them there for now and then she's actually coming over soon so i'll ask her opinion i love them though they're so nice yeah definitely these are glass so that's obviously why it broke so easily um but i love the glass ones they just feel really nice and they look really good yeah gorgeous and then i'm working on this area because this is where i'm gonna have like the drinks out and then this is gonna be where I have my food, so I'm kind of starting to prep a little bit. And um, we actually went to Costco at the weekend and you get like really big <laughs> bags of stuff. Um, I think I got this bag for, I wanna say like maybe $10, maybe more, but for over here, that's actually pretty good. And then this big thing of Ferrero Rocher's and some biscuits and stuff. And then I need to like just set up all the party stuff basically this table I'm gonna have for drinks um also I forgot to show you these I got them for my birthday and guys I am so obsessed with them like I've really really started to love like dishware and hosting platters and all those stuff this year so Kellen and Tommy got me four of these for my birthday they're kind of pricey not gonna lie they're from a store in Soho but I love them so i got four of them and i'm gonna like keep adding to the collection and then i got this little these two little serving bowls they're so nice when you have parties and i've seen like some brands do like dupes of these and stuff but i just really wanted the real thing they're made in japan quality is amazing and they just look so good at parties so i'll definitely use them now the next night and then i have like little candle holders yeah it's a work in progress okay in other news I have a confession to make. I went a little bit crazy on Farfetch last week and because I think last minute we're going to actually go 
on a trip for New Year's. So now I'm like, okay, I need to get outfits for that. I need to get a few outfits for when I'm home. I, I said in like my first vlog, I'm not going to do loads of nights out this Christmas, but I still want to look nice. Like for Christmas Eve, I want to dress up and a few other days. So I was looking online and Firefetch had so many nice bits in their like party wear section and just like glitzy bits and going out stuff. So I did a pretty big order but i'm not keeping everything i i just love to try things on and firefetch delivery is just so handy it usually gets here very quickly and the returns are very easy if ever you have to return so i always just like like to see it and then i know straight away in person so i've kind of started to open them up a little bit um i'll show you them on camera i haven't tried anything on yet so i'd love your help on what i should keep so let's get right into it all right first thing off it's actually kind of similar to what i'm wearing i got this jacket recently um and i've actually been wearing it loads so i love these style of jackets so much they're so handy you throw them on with leather pants or jeans so i saw this one and i thought it was kind of cool so it's basically like all sequence it is glam 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 and it, it has this these really nice like gold buttons it's from this brand called claudie pierlo claudie Claudia Pierlo, please I'm not butchering that. This is the brand. That's the good thing about Firefetch. Like I always find brands that, you know, maybe I didn't know about before because basically they stock things from like small boutiques all over the world and you can find really cool, unusual stuff. So I loved the look of this. So that's the first thing. I'm gonna try and keep things like near their boxes so I'll know what's what. And then next up, I'll do the try on at the end like I always do. I like to show you the things first okay this next thing i actually saw in person in store here in new york and i didn't have time at that time to try it on and then i saw it on farfetch and i was like okay i'll just order it for delivery and i'll try it on home and i'll see what the story is as you can tell i'm very into this kind of like buttony vibe at the moment this is from maj and it's a dress and i just think this would be so nice with knee-high boots a little blazer on top or a coat on top like even for christmas eve now one of those days where you're kind of dressed up but you're still you know you're not crazy crazy dressed up but i thought this could be really nice so that's the second thing next is something from actually one of my favorite brands i think for this time of the year it's called norma kamali she's us i'm pretty sure but i have some really nice things from her over the years and the price points i feel like are pretty good for the quality i usually buy my pieces from her through farfetch always i have this exact dress actually in black and i have a longer dress from her it's just good they're very simple pieces um like usually like solid colors i don't think she does many prints so yeah, I really like her stuff if you're looking for things, but how cool is this? Okay, so obviously with my hair, I love this kind of like brown metallic vibe. It's a dress, long sleeve, so it's kind of like short, like a shirt style at the top. And then this almost like, it almost looks like it's a shirt tucked into a skirt, which I think is really cool with tights and heels or high knee boots. So I'll try that on for you as well. And it's very hard to, to like you to get the idea on camera. But I'll do a try on as usual. Yes, okay. The next thing are some shoes. Okay, so I'm in a phase where I'm really liking slingback heels. I know they've kind of been on trend for a while, but I haven't pulled the trigger on a pair yet. So I saw this pair from Anina Bing. They were kind of giving me YSL vibes. I think YSL does a pair with like a similar toe and they're like four times the price of these. So maybe if these ones fit nicely these could be a good option i just think these now with tights with like a simple dress you could wear these with leather pants just very versatile for christmas and it's a good size heel so i really really like the look of these let me see the second pair second one yeah the sticker is still on that one but yeah these are cool i think they'll be really nice with my second copy of the day i think everyone's on that bus at the moment there's like so much to do before christmas you just need all the energy okay next oh i am this is probably the one i'm most excited about i really hope this looks nice on and that you like it on me it's this jumpsuit from self-portrait and 
I have to say, like, I think growing up, was it around when I was growing up? But self-portrait to me was always like a specific type of dress. Remember back in the day, they used to just do kind of like florally, lacy kind of dresses. But in the last couple of years, they have really stepped it up and they're doing the coolest dresses, the coolest jumpsuits. So I saw this online and I thought it was so nice. So it's like kind of almost looks like a top and pants. It's very long looking though, which could be an issue, but if I like it, I could get it taken up. And then it has these really nice buttons as well. So yeah, this looks cool. So I'll see how that is on. And last, but definitely not least, you know I love a good pair of shoes. And these are from Badly Mishka. These, this brand, I, I know them for like their dresses and for their more formal wear, but I've been recently seeing their shoes like in person in some of the department stores in New, here in New York. And I've been seeing them online and they're gorgeous. And the price, like the price isn't crazy. Like when it comes to shoes, I don't mind splurging if it's like, you know, a pair that I know it's like really worth the splurge. But sometimes when it comes to like heels, which I know I'm probably gonna wear 10 times a year, maybe 15 times a year, realistically, you know, I don't wanna spend crazy, crazy. So I thought that these were a good price point for what they are. They're a plain black heel. So from the front, you just have this really plain sleek heel, you know, for like winter weddings, for winter events, even for summer weddings. Like I think it's so important to have a good pair of black heels like this gold silver and white like if you had even two or three of those colors in this really simple plain style it just makes like when you're going to occasions so much easier i've learned that this year because we had a lot of weddings and events and next year i have weddings and i just really want to get my shoe game very like solid i want it to be very solid so i saw these and i like that they're obviously plain the front but then you have a little fun at the heel so you know if you want it to be plain it's just from the front but then when it turns it's something like a little bit different and i like that this like wraps around you that's usually very nice on the heel is good like the heel height i think these will be pretty comfortable so yeah these are cool i really like them okay so they're the pieces i have one two three four Six, I think so I'll try on the clothing pieces for you now and then you can let me know down below what you think I should keep okay first off is the sequence jacket it's kind of cool isn't it it's a little bit oversized like the sleeves are a little bit oversized but I kind of like it I like it open and then obviously you could do it closed up with the buttons as well and then I put on the Anina Bing heels this is how they look very chic very very chic yeah i think i like the two of these let me know what you think in the in the comments okay and then these are the other pair of shoes i just really love the heel i think it's so cool and as i said then very plain and chic and simple from the front and they're pretty comfy they're like a good heel height so yeah let me know what you think about these which heels do you prefer on to the jumpsuit it's a little bit long not gonna lie and these are like my highest heels i have so i would have to get it taken up a little bit but the structure in the silhouette is really nice so if you can see now this is the top and then it kind of like comes in a bit here so it does give a really nice shape the buttons are lovely yeah, this is very cool, very me. Love a wide leg trouser, love like a nice shape like this. It makes you feel very like tall and um, business woman-ish, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, this is cool. This is why you have to try things on. This is not good on me. I mean, it's not terrible. I have it in black, as I said, and I like it in the black, but for some reason in this color, I also think I got a size up this time didn't mean to do that but it's just too baggy here I just have it with boots also I'm so pale I need to do tan for the weekend um but just so you can get an idea like it fits nice here but it's just it's too baggy here it's such a cool color though and like a cool I love like a metallic-y browny vibe I think with my hair I always love that color but no no I don't like it <laughs> 
Okay, last but not least, I really like this. The only thing, I think I might have to go one size down. It feels a bit loose here, but I love the shape. I think it's gonna be so nice with high knee boots or with like kind of semi-opaque tights and heels. I like the sleeves, I like the buttons. It's kind of this like tweed material. It's just very simple and classic and something that I have like year after year. I think Maj do these kind of pieces really, really well. It's like, I feel like I kind of like associate them with this and I have a, a jacket very like this material from them too. And I love it, I've worn it so much. So yeah, if you're looking for a nice kind of day to night dress, I recommend this, but I do recommend true to size. This is a 38. I think I definitely need a 36. Um, so yeah, just for reference. All the links and everything will be down below in the description box. If you have any questions about sizing as usual, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you there. And let me know what I should keep. I feel like I'm pretty sure on some things. I'm kind of slightly on the fence on some. I definitely don't need them all. I want to just be really like particular about what I keep now and you know know what I'm gonna wear it over Christmas and have all my outfits planned out and everything I hope I can get this in a smaller size I hope it's still available um I can let you know in the next video what I keep and stuff so yeah now to clean up and get these returns going I'm really trying to get the apartment organized now today and tomorrow because the weekend will be here before we know it and there's like 20 people <laughs> coming over on Friday night so Gotta get all these returns done. I'll check in again now soon when I have all this done. Hi, Mr. Jojo. Are you gonna do the rest of my editing for me? That would be great. Can I have a paw? Oh, you're the best boy. You are. Gotta get you a treat. I know that's what you want. <laughs> I've just been editing something also. Joey and Kellen are here. And I looked up and I don't even know if the camera's gonna show. Oh, kind of, yeah, look. Look at the sky. Wow, the weather was so nice today. It's like a pinky sky with the tree in the back. So fab. Okay, Kellen is here and she is doing a little decorating for me. What do you think, Kellen? So far. Fixing it all <laughs> I didn't do it all, by the way, so don't judge. I knew she was going to say that. Um, we're trying to do this like bowl thing. Yes. Two next to each other. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to like look oh, at yeah, it now. These and are super old here. Kellen, they're the ones you told me to buy. They're the whole right next to each other. They're the whole set that I sent you. These no, ones. I picked out the party one. No, Kellen. Okay, this, this was the set. No. Do you want to bet? Because I have a text message where you told me this one when I asked you oh, which one. I'd like to see that text message. These ones are cute. Also, look how cute this um, wrapping paper that I found the weekend. So it's like with love from Santa. Oh, that's cute. Where'd you get that? Home goods, home sense. Oh, no. Um, these are the new ones I got. What do you think? Yeah, they're cute. We got these bowls, and we've seen people like, you know, do cream bowls on a tree. And I actually just tried with them; they look nice, but I don't know how to keep it on. Yeah, I think it looks so cute. Okay guys, we added yeah, some more. Kellen fixed it up a little bit. Sorry, it doesn't really focus because all the lights, but we added these cute little bowls. We just added four, is it, or five? Four. Four, yeah, we could probably do one more maybe. Mm. I'll cut that off because it was too long. That is really cute. Um, I just put on this jacket and a jumper. Jeans, boots, Joey's been waiting for us to leave for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to meet David. Um, Tommy's busy with work, so three of us are going to go do a little Christmas activity. We're trying to do something most nights this, this week. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not the more me, most me thing, I'm measuring tape. I wore that jacket the weekend because I was trying to buy new lamps. Um, but we're trying to do something Christmassy most nights this week because time is flying and we're going home tomorrow week. So we have Today one week. week. Oh my god, today week. So we gotta make sure we get everything done. I think we're gonna go over to the Columbus Circle Christmas Market and then have a look at the lights in Hudson Yards. So that'll be like two more things ticked off. And yeah, I'll bring you with us.
Okay, we're a bit late, I think. I think there's still some food things open. Cute. Okay, next stop. We are in Hudson Yards because they always do such nice decorations. I actually don't think I made it here last year before Christmas. So, oh wow. Like that's literally all over the whole place. Awesome. Where is he? Um, I'll see now once we get out here and I'll show you. Basically Hudson Yards is this like new-ish shopping center in New York. And they really go all out. If we go up, you can see them, can't you? It's we go over there. If we go up this way and look at them here for. Oh, it's better from like up, up there, one, isn't yeah. it? Let's look at them over here first. I'll show you from down here, and they will go up top. And if you look down, it's really cool. It's a handy shopping center if you come because everything's in the raining. one place. If it's raining or if it's cold, I always recommend it to people. Oh wow! Look. Oh, you're 